occult had been piled on the table. The room was stacked with light reading, such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost, old exotic titles like Malleus Malficarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis, books with pentagrams on their covers, all dealing with the occult and the infernal, lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs.
The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. 
this was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. The vapors in the air start. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Janela had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Lupino's notes covered the table. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. The table was scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. A mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast, the big bad Fenris wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliché. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to right a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jadula, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Living under the skin of reality, I've seen it. The corruption of flesh.
I had known there'd have to be a catch in it somewhere, and this one was the Empire State Building of catches. Levino just pumped up and dying to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond the world of skin, the architecture of blood and bone arrow. Death is coming! She is coming, and hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now, and all who stand in her way must die! <laughs> <laughs> You'll die! You'll <laughs> die! Now! All die! Oh! When Lupino finally went down, I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. V was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, You've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure, and you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello's the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. The nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. You're snoring next to Lupino's corpse. A comedian, eh? Michelle looked at me from the photo. The Bane family. Happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever. Till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. The pictures were filled with good old times.
I really love to watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to Bat Niagara. Niagara? As in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat, he'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. I guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them.
newspaper caption for a murder scene. Frankie had left his calling card, a Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip, next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. <laughs>